Hi, everybody. I'm trying something new. Sorry, excuse my voice. I have a little bit of a cold. Um, excuse my, uh, I'm trying a little new method. I'm trying to go uh, do a video vlog this time. Um, my roommate, Noah, was doing this uh, yesterday, and he's just posting it to Facebook, but I thought it was a really good idea, and so it's something I'm going to try, and that way I can talk about more things, and um, in a shorter time, and it's easier for people because you can just listen to it, that kind of thing. Um, so, let's see. Um, basically, I am in the middle of my EFT, which is an educational field trip. Um, so, we have about one a semester, and um, they're educational, so um, they count towards class time, and that's the reason why we're able to escape with having like shorter classes and things like that. Um, is because basically any tour we go on, anytime we're in a German like area, it counts for like certain class units because of Pepperdine standards and that kind of thing. Anyway, so um, let's see. We left Tuesday morning. Um, we left bright and early from the Moore House, which is the house we're staying at. We drove on a huge charter bus. Holds like literally holds every single person. It, that was going they literally have not a single space and we have a little baby that has to sit on a lap and a seven-year-old that has to sit between his mom and his dad in these like little charter buses so here's mom here's mom here's dad here's baby and you're there um and so that's basically what we've been riding on um the first morning tuesday morning got up got our grub on um, and we went to, uh, get on the bus, drove six hours on a bus. That was a really, really long ride. Um, anyways, we drove, no, it's probably five hours. We drove five hours, um, and we drove to Wiltonsburg. Um, for those of you who don't know where that is, I'm in, I'm in Eastern Germany. I was trying to do directions, but that wouldn't work because it's backwards. But I'm in eastern, southeastern Germany, kind of. Um, and my EFT is to the Romantic Road, which goes from, like, middle southern part of Germany all the way down to, like, the southwest part of Germany. Um, and so we went to Rotensburg, which is kind of in the middle of the Romantic Road. Um, it's famous because there's a very famous picture. It's It's taken its... Basically, the most famous picture of Germany is like, or the most photographed picture of Germany is from this one specific corner in Rotensburg. Um, and Rotensburg is really popular, prominent because it is the uh, it is the oldest um, completely walled city. So this city was one of the very few cities that was not bombed during World War II, and so it's completely surrounded this town by this um really cool like never really been renovated um stone wall um and it has a gorgeous view um it's also really famous for these things called schneeballs um they're like they're like things that are about this big they're like pie crust and then they put like powdered sugar on it and they put like flavoring in it it's a dessert so it's like you can have, like, hazelnut, you can have chocolate, that kind of thing. Um, I didn't have it. No one really found, like, that they loved it all that much. Um, so I was kind of, oops, sorry. I was kind of happy that I didn't have to try it. And I was, yeah, so I was fine with that. Um, and let's see. We ex So we explored there a little bit. We got a we got a nice tour. It was a pretty good tour. Um, Rotensburg also, it stands for the Red Fortress. Um Rot, R-O-T, being red in German. Berg, b sorry, Burg, B-U-R-G, <coughs> is a castle, is a castle fortress um, in German. And then the H-E-N between the Rot and the Burg um, is kind of just like, it's like an adjective, like putting the red to the castle kind of thing. So it means red, red walled castle. Um, and so then... After that, um, we were there for a couple hours, and that was really fun. It was so pretty there, and oh my gosh, there's when I when we were driving there, there's nothing like we're in. I'm in a I'm in the German state called 
Baden-Württemberg, um, which is basically southwest Germany. And um, this is in, <coughs> this um, romantic road is in the state called Bayern, or it's Bayern in German, it's Bavaria, is what it translates to. And so this is like the Alps. This is like basically sound and music area. And so it's gorgeous. And so we're driving around. I want to live there, basically. Um, so, but after Rodensburg, sorry, I'm jumping around. We went to Dinkelsburg um, for the night. Sorry, Dinkelsburg. It's Dinkels and then B U H L. Um, and so we went there. We stayed in a really cute um, bed and breakfast. Um, it had like, it was a big bed and breakfast. It, it was like an old, it looked like an old hospital. Um, and then after we checked in there, we went through a little tour of this town. Um, and it was pretty cool. Um, they really played it up a lot because um, they probably don't get many tourists and they need to get tourists somehow. And so they have like their old night watchmen and they showed it, us what the town was like when it was all like olden times. And so they had all this different stuff, which was, it was cute, but it was kind of like, okay, you're kind of pushing it. But it was interesting. Um, excuse me. Um, funny story was... Um, as we're doing this tour, there were some loud people. This was pretty late at night, so it was pretty dark. Um, there were some really loud people, and it sounded like Russian. And so we're walking by. This is like 52 of us. And um, these kids, they, they're like, they're probably like our age. They started yelling at us. They're like, Americans, Americans, please, you want some Russian water? Which is vodka. Um, and so that was really funny because they were hilarious. And so when the tour was getting boring, we stopped at one part for the tour and they were saying things that weren't very interesting. Um, and so it was funny listening to the crazy Russians in the background off to the side. Um, so yeah, but Dinkle's Bull was really cute. Um, and I was in a pretty nice room. Um, it was just, uh, I'm sit I'm rooming with, uh, my really good friend Noah for the, for this EFT, and so that was good. So we just hung out, enjoyed our room. It was probably the most romantic room I've ever stayed in, which was awkward because it was with the guy. And yeah, and so the next morning we woke up um, and we went to the Dinkelsbuhl Cathedral, which was, I mean, it was pretty. Um, and as far as small town cathedrals go, it was pretty legit. Uh, I mean, obviously it's not going to compare to something like St. Peter's, or I know my dad, of course, has seen, like, us going to Yorkshire Abbey, all those things, but I mean, like, it was a really nice cathedral for how, like, big this town was, um, and so we did that in the morning, and then we left, and we took another really, really long ride. This one was six hours, and we went basically from s middle southern Germany all the way to Austria, which is south and east of uh, Germany. So we went there and literally every mile we drove got more and more pretty and literally by the time that we were, uh, we went to a rest stop and by the time we got to the rest shop, it was like, I mean, I just wanted to like get out of the car, get out of the charter bus and just walk away and make my own life there somehow. Cause it was like, it was incredible. It was gorgeous and I, think if you look at the most beautiful scenes in the sound of music the most beautiful scenes in the sound of music can barely do austria in that region the southern bavaria justice because it was legitimately one the most beautiful place i've seen in my entire life you have the alps that are huge and gleaming and then you have um these rolling f green pastures you know followed by the flatness, followed by the mountains and the trees again. And then it's like these cute little houses. And it's just, I mean, it was incredible. So yeah, so we stopped at a rest stop, probably like five hours of the drive in, because it was about lunchtime by then. Um, and we stopped there and it was really expensive. And um, for those who know, my favorite pasta dish is called uh, penne arrabbiata. And so I saw it there and I was like, yes, I have to get this. And so, I mean, it was pretty good. 